Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, you come here, come here, check this out. Damn, what is that, bro? So, some of you may have noticed something a little different. Mm hmm, that's correct. This video is incredibly late. But yeah, the reason for that is that I moved home, and with a new home comes a new office, and with a new office comes the perfect opportunity to make a desk setup video. So stay tuned. Well, anyway, before the move, Nufi reached out asking if I'd like to review the Gem 80, and of course I said yes. As you can see, the progress hasn't panned out very well for that so far, but that's all over now, so let's get into this video. It would be an understatement to say that Nufi did not hold back. Sending the Gem 80 for review is one thing, but I also received a set of their mint switches, a matching set of PBT keycaps, a matching wrist rest, three different plate options, and a set of novelty keycaps. While I will preface that these are sold separately, I feel that it's highly likely that anyone interested in the Gem 80 will, if anything, get the included switches and keycaps, so for the sake of that, I'm just going to review everything received today. Unboxing the Gem 80 feels like a premium unboxing experience should. You receive a quick start guide, an installation guide, and a Q&A booklet for any questions you may have. The Gem 80 itself comes neatly wrapped in a microfiber cloth, alongside a toolbox which contains a USB-C cable, a screwdriver, a wireless 2.4GHz USB dongle, a keycap and switch puller, five different mounting style accessories for the Gem 80, and some spare foot pads. Removing the microfiber cloth reveals that the Gem 80 does not come pre-built, so you will need to source your own switches and keycaps. However, once you overcome this obstacle, the process is super easy. Simply place your desired switches in, ensuring they are facing the correct way, and finish it off with keycaps of your choice. As I mentioned before, I'll be using the Nufi Mint switches. These switches are a 52 gram single stage spring switch designed in collaboration with Gatoron and feature a POM stem, a polycarbonate top housing, and a PA66 bottom housing. The PC top housing really makes these switches look neat in my opinion, however they are just a bit too light for my preference. On top goes the matching Gem 80 keycaps, these are a double shot PBT keycap in a profile that is not cherry, uh, <laughs> honestly not much has been said about these but they feel nice enough, and voila, we are done. Yeah, okay that's cool, but tell me more about the Gem 80. Sure. Um, where to start? Well, the Gem 80 comes in five different colors. It's hot swappable, it comes with south facing per key RGB, it has wired Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz connections, it has four different mounting styles, silicone bean, silicone socket, silicone strip, and top mount. It supports both QMK and VIA. Three new switches have been designed for it, and it comes with a ghost bar, which is a silicone dampened space bar designed to reduce ping. Oh, sounds interesting. On, no, no, no. no. That's not it. It supports both Windows and Mac. It has four different plate options, aluminium, FR4, PC, and POM. It's loaded to the absolute brim with foams. I'm talking six different layers here. And not only does it come with homing keys, but Nufi has specifically created a new keycap layout for the Gem 80. They call it MSA Profile. And if that hasn't convinced you, this will. As always, appearances can be deceiving, so let's take a look at what's going on under the hood. To take apart the keyboard, simply remove these 10 screws using the included screwdriver. Uh, just kidding. I'd like to think that I'm not weak, but these were so difficult to remove I was thinking of using an electric drill, but managed to settle on my own screwdriver. Once removed and stored safely, remove the bottom case by lifting it up, however be careful of the wires underneath. There are three JST connectors, one for the daughter board, one for the switches, and one for the battery. As promised, three of the six layers of foam. Let's remove these for now and take out the PCB. The silicone weight which is housed in the bottom of the case is really dense. It reminds me somewhat of the Rummerworks silicone dampener, however slightly different. 
and ironically is probably the heaviest part of the keyboard. <sighs> Look, I cannot lie. At this point in taking apart the keyboard, I was getting really frustrated. It was looking like a battlefield. So far, everything had been against me, and the clip and stabs did not help. Honestly, I think Nufi made a mistake by including these, and now I actually officially hate them. Worst part is that the PCB does not even include stab holes, so you're stuck using the provided clip and set. This is really counterproductive if you want to swap plates, as clip and stabs attach to the plate itself, and every time you change the plate, you need to remove them separately, and oh my god, enough complaining. However, for both our sakes, I refuse to film a lot of the openings, but here's a bunch of different sound tests. Enjoy. You know, I think it's difficult for large companies to come across sincere a vast majority of the time. It's like I can sense the corporate greed, being a corpo myself. But it genuinely seems like Nufi cares about their products. Maybe I've just been caught up in the illusion. I know next to nothing about their previous products, but many companies have achieved this for far less effort. In fact, Nufi has an article on the Gem80 which goes into incredible detail about their design philosophy and the obstacles they have overcome when designing this keyboard. That's not exactly something a cash grab company would bother doing. Nufi has really brought their A game to the Gem80. Being such an experienced player in the custom keyboard market has definitely helped them. However, with the Gem80 being their first custom mechanical keyboard, one that, in my opinion, doesn't feel so Mac OS centric, it's really nice to see that they have maintained the quality and attention to detail their previous products have been known for, while taking a step further into the mechanical territory. I mentioned this in my Neo 65 video, but I expect keyboards like the Gem80 to be the tip of the iceberg when it comes to a new generation of custom mechanical keyboards. Whether this will be a good thing or not, only time will tell. However, combining manufacturers like Nufi with a client base interested in mechanical keyboards means that you should expect a lot more innovation, variety, and fingers crossed, hopefully more in-stock options coming soon. But what do I think of the Gem80? I mean, it's all right, like. Jokes aside, yeah, it's a pretty great keyboard. However, there's a few things to note. The most important to me is the design of the keycaps. Innovation is good, but I think there's been some oversight here. The keycaps float slightly higher above the frame, so from certain angles you can clearly see the bright green switches, which is a bit off-putting. Combine this with the per-key RGB and bleed-through is not very nice. In fact, I prefer to have this off while filming this video. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier, the clip and stabs suck. It's like building your dream car only to put on bald tyres. Actually, that might be a thing. 
Oh, scratch that. It's just a really bad self-imposed handicap. Especially if you're providing customization through multiple plate options, it would have been great to at least have the screw and stabilizer holes. Overall, I think the Gem 80 is a pretty solid keyboard that does not really miss the mark when it comes to quality and attention to detail. The ability to change between Windows and Mac, the included wireless functionality, and the ability to customize the keyboard should you want makes me believe the Gem 80 is a great all-rounder, a great first keyboard, one that you can take between home and the office, and one that is sure to draw the eye when it's at the center of your desk. For those of you who are interested in the Gem 80, there's an affiliate link in the description, and you can use code Dylan for 10% off your order. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Please make sure to like and subscribe, chuck me a follow on Insta if you want to see more content like this, and have a great day. Cheers! Baby, you give me ice and fire You're giving me